All right, everyone. Welcome back to Hangout Mode with Austin and Parker. Today we are continuing our gameplay of Katamari Damacy. Um, we lost two episodes, by the way. Because... Was it one or two? Hmm. Was it one or two? Oh no, it was probably one episode. I think it was just one. Yeah. Um, because for some reason, um, uh, it didn't. The capture software like just destroyed everything. Decided to take and that was just something we were worrying about when we were going through the um, recording, because uh, it looked like it was just tearing it apart. So like it's just all glitchy, and so we'll, we'll, we'll cut to that right now, I guess, and you guys get to see what it looks like. Crazy, right? Just yeah. All over the place. It's pretty so crazy. So much fun. Yeah. So, anyways, welcome back, and we're going ahead to. What do we need to do? We've done. So we've done these ones. We're gonna go to make Let's star five. Make star five. Number five. So you guys. So that means that you guys didn't see the last two. I think levels, which is Cygnus and a different one. Yeah. One had lots of uh, swans and eggs. Yep. Lots of swans and eggs. We'll let you interpret that the way that you want to. Yes. But what came first, the egg or the swan? In this case, it was the egg, I think. It's true. I th yeah, I think it was the egg. Alright, back into town. We're under relaxed 1.5. What makes it relaxed? I mean... What is it relaxed? What size compared is Compared to like 7 meters, it's relaxed. What does that mean? Why is bigger or more, less relaxed than smaller? I mean... I don't know. Not as much work? For me, I guess? Yeah. I'm not relaxed, so this is the biggest one we've made know. so far. So what is it relative to then? That's a good question. I'm always got to be thinking about these questions. Yep. Just, just got to think about it. Think about things. You got to really take your time to earn that knowledge through stuff. That's why watching our show, you'll gain so much knowledge, yes. your brain will explode. I think they missed my fun facts. They did! They, they did, did miss your fun facts. Please don't indulge in the ones you said last time. Indulge I can't in some other remember newer. the ones I said last time. Oh, good. So, I remember one of them. I can't remember it's the first one. Okay. Yeah, fun facts. Um... I can't think of any you can't, other moment, Yeah, you actually. can't even... I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> As you learn more on our show, we learn less. We're transferring our yes. ability to you. By the time we're done with the channel, you would have known everything we do, and we wouldn't know anything. Very true. We wouldn't even be playing. It'll just be a void. You'll be looking at a black screen of no sound because we have transferred everything to you. But in your imagination and understanding everything we do, you'll be able to make the video yourself in your mind. It's really bugging me. Why can't I remember my fun facts? One of them was about donkeys, donkeys yeah. and the, and war. Yeah. I don't remember what the other one was about. I can't either. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways. Good stuff. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad we can keep an audience entertained. Those leaves. Oh, that look. that's that looks more like an. Oh, I guess it is an NES. It's an NES looking controller. Yeah, look at those leaves. It's based up in NES at least. Pick out the crab. I guess I can't. What do those leaves look like to you, Austin? They look like uh, Japanese maple leaf. Yeah, just wow. what I was gonna say. Yeah. Ginkgo leaves too. True. We have that ginkgo leaf right here on uh, campus and. It doesn't smell very good. What do you mean? It's the best smell ever. That's why I've come to this school. To look that at, one to smell reason. To smell ginkgo trees. Yep. It's and it's like right in the walkway, like that everyone walks on. It's not even like somewhere off on the other side of like campus yeah. that no one goes into. So if this doesn't pan out and pay the bills, which I'm not planning on it, but hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully this will pay our <laughs> college loans. Exactly. With our playing. Who doesn't? Play I mean, that would be pretty cool, actually, no, if this became gonna, a full-time job. I'm gonna make that but... smell into a cologne and sell it. Goodness. be a mess. Ooh, fun fact. Austin's favorite animal is a pigeon. It's actually, I mean, it used pigeons. to be. It's it used to be? Not anymore? 
I like so. I like I mean I like birds in general. I like owls a lot. Owl? Owls, owls are pretty chill. Favorite. But I do love pigeons still. They're still up there. They're they're high up there in my love for any animal. I made friends with a pigeon once. That's right. You sent me pictures. I did. It was it was great. It was a very beautiful moment. It was. He was um, a good friend. I was waiting for the train. Oh. And I waited for a while. And just he joined you. He really. He did. He we really we connected. Yeah. Too bad you didn't go on the train with me because I slept through my stop. But you would have had a friend to continue with you. Yeah. Or wake me up. <laughs> or wake you up. The pigeon yeah. woke you up. I ended up going on the to the end of the line. Yeah. Fun stuff. But thankfully, my stop was like. Two stops before the end of the okay, line. Okay, so, so I just turned around and far. went back. Yeah, it wasn't too far. Darn it. Yeah. These elephant things are messing with me. What are they? I don't know. They look like little like watering cans, but they're too small to be. Because everything here is tiny right now. Well, everything's technically normal size. Well, I'm, okay, everything I'm grabbing is tiny. Not re not yeah. relative to their own things, but relative to the world around it, I guess. Yes. True, true. These water bottles, or not water bottles, these juice bottles are helping me grow a little bit faster, quicker. What's that, orange juice? Yeah. Okay. Some, more good? some other type of juice. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I met a guy named Juice. Oh, that's Very right, yeah. Very interesting name, yeah. I would have to say, I, I kind of like the name. It's an interesting name. Would you name your child Juice? I mean... That all depends on my future wife, and her opinion. What type of juice would your would your uh, child be if they were juice? I mean, I like apple juice personally. So your your child but would be apple juice. I'm fine with that. You're fine with your child what about you? Would you name your child juice? Uh, I don't think so. No. I also don't think my future wife would be interested in it. I guess it depends on who. Depends on who it, you marry. It, it yeah, it depends on like who it is. But I can't imagine very many people would be. Yeah. I'm on the other side of the map from there, so we gotta go all the way over. Speaking of significant others, I was hanging out with some friends and your significant other was there. Okay. We went to the mystery machine here, which is a vending machine. Yeah. Where they black out all the options. Yeah. And just put random ones, cost like a quarter. It's fun stuff, good activity to do if you're bored. You want a soda? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we got four Diet Cokes. <laughs> the worst of like yeah, the wor worst of them, yeah. Um, and I think lovely. one or two of them were Diet Coke with Splenda. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. It's yeah. A mess. So after like the third one, someone was like, "You should just smash it on the ground." And so they took it and just smashed the can on the ground. We're like, okay. Huh. It's like, oh, it makes sense. Like, the person who did it was the type of person who you can see doing that. Okay. But then Austin's girlfriend got another one, and it was another Diet Coke, and she was just so angry. She just took all of them and just smashed them on the ground one after another. I don't believe you on this one. It's true. Should I ask her? You can ask her. But it, we were kind of like, oh, okay. I see you. She wouldn't get mad. I mean, it was, it was kind of just like a fun thing. Okay. Like, I was going to say, I was ah! angry at that kind of thing. Yeah. And then we got in the car and about to leave, and she asked us a question that made us just stop and just like the most awkward silence in a while. She's like, what would you guys do if I just like, when I started smashing them on the ground, just yell, I hate Austin! Just, ah! Which is pretty funny because we were all pretty, you know, we're all pretty good friends with Austin. It's like, yeah. Oh. Like... We would probably just sit there and be like, okay, good stuff. Yeah, fun little story there. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, for the sake of I might, my girlfriend, I might edit that part of that out. <laughs> okay. For her own... We could have not said names. I'm sorry. I'll but, edit that out. Right. What does it matter if we say names? I That's mean, true. even watching it, anyone that we know will know who it is. I guess that doesn't matter otherwise, it's not like anyone watch, we know will watch this. That is true. Or at least very many people. But you it's enough to where it's pretty embarrassing enough for her. 
How is that embarrassing? That's pretty... Well, I don't know. Enough to make everybody feel awkward. I don't know. Anyways. Ah. Moving on. Moving on. Good. Interesting story. Yeah. So, we're about to... Actually, we're doing pretty good. We're almost to a meter and a half. I didn't even notice that. Actually. Oh, dang. Yeah, we're... We have four more minutes also. I'm gonna get all this. Good yeah, time, yeah good there we time. go. Nice. What are those signs for? Like They're usually for children's uh, walking. Like, across the road. I, don't know I mean, how can you drive across the road with that many signs? You can't. That's why, because children cross. Makes sense. I mean, you think there's so many, it'd be hard to, like, get across. We took our very first swim in this place. We feel a growing sense of hope. We should put this in the diary. Thanks, Dad. I know you care, truly. Oh, oh, pick oh, it up, children! Picked up a dude. Picking up a girl. Ooh. Her name's Honoka. Hara. Interesting name. What's the weirdest name you'd name your kid? I don't know. I wouldn't choose very weird names, I guess. True. I don't want to subject them to that <laughs> type of thing. If you just named your kids like kid number one. That dude's what that guy has major strength. Go back. What? Go Who? go go back, go back. But I'm in the middle of trying to pick things up. You can pick stuff up around him. Oh, let me get these ladies first. Okay, no, what? Look at that dude on the pole! Oh goodness. And his hair? His hair is pretty wild. Yeah! Got him and his hair. Thank you. He's like stuck by his hair. The hair was his downfall. Oh. oh! Oh! Delivery guy. Biker. A cop. Akiba. They said a cop. A cop. <laughs> what? There's another guy who had the same hairdo around the corner. Thank the you. odds. And his- oh it's his girlfriend too. Schoolboy, that's why. What would you do if you just saw stuck. just like a ball of people? That'd be pretty terrifying. Like, it's like a horror movie. Yeah. This is a really good premise for a horror movie. Come to come into theaters near you. Giant ball that's of funny. it's the human katamari. That that would be pretty scary. Like the human katamari. Yeah. It's slowly getting bigger over the course of like, and nothing can stop it. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I just saw this object with a whole bunch of things gathered around it, and then people start sticking to it, I, I would be definitely worried. Yeah, I'd be really concerned. Darn it, I'm so close. It's really hard to move around things. There we go. Oh, you have that giant, those two giant signs that kind of like yeah. make it uneven. Not as far away. You have one minute left. Once these guys are sent into space, they're not going to come to live anymore, they'll all die. That's true. That's pretty horrifying, actually. Like, they'll all, like, freeze and they'll probably explode based on their internal forces being... No, they would explode. Because their yeah. their their internal pressure would be higher than the ones outside of them because there's no air pressure to keep their insides inside of them. So that'd be, that'd be pretty scary. If I do say something so. Those people rollerblading, like, they, they didn't care. Yeah, I wouldn't either. If I was... Punk roller cake roller okay. I got punk. Oh yeah. Oh. Through the alley, no one can stop me. Ah! <laughs> Giant thing in my way. Oh, I gotta get this person. Why is that bird carrying a cat? <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? No, I didn't see oh, that. It was just, pretty terror. That sounds pretty terrifying. Yeah, this bird was just carrying almost, a cat. almost two and a half meters. Pretty good. That's yeah. All right. Well. Royal Rainbow. Thanks for watching part. I don't know what part this is anymore. That we lost the last episode. It's part four. Part. Yes, four. Yeah. Let's, welcome. Let's, let's Thank you for four. watching part four. Of I mean, if it's not our... four, then it's the part that the number says on the description. Yeah. Part four of Katamari. Green Star. All right. Hang out with us next time on Hangout Mode. Yeah. I'm Parker. I'm Austin. I'll see you later. Been fun hanging out. I like that one. You did? 
I, I was, I, there were a lot of times where I just didn't know what to say and I felt like it was kind of boring. Edit out where I stop it, the recording, and exit out of the thing so it doesn't break again. Do what?